And joining me right now is U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin joining us on the telephone. Mr. Secretary, thanks very much for joining us. What do you say to these calls from Bill Ackman, from Steve Bannon, to shut the country down for 30 days, let business understand that there is an end date so that they could look forward to the recovery? Well, Maria, first of all, it's always great to be with you. Um, I only caught the end of, of Bill's comments, so I didn't hear what he said. Let me just say I, I would separate the medical issues from the economic issues. Um, I'm going to leave the medical advice to the medical professionals. But what we have been focused on on economic issues, so let me just, uh, again, start with some of the most important things in this bill. For any small business, 500 people or less, uh, most of these businesses have been shut down at no fault of their own. Uh, they are going to be able to take an SBA loan that will give them two months of payroll and some overhead. And if they hire the workers back or they keep their workers hired, uh, the government will forgive that loan. So we want all small businesses to keep employees on uh, so that they can reopen those businesses quickly when it's medically sufficient. And uh, I, I know some people have been concerned about the SBA process. Uh, I assure you that the Treasury will be working with the SBA, that we're going to add an enormous number of new lenders. Uh, basically, this is going to work that any small business can go into a bank very quickly, get the loan underwritten, and get the money fast. So then why are your Democrats' uh, colleagues, the Democrats in the Senate, pushing back, saying that there's not enough money for medical workers, there's not enough money for individuals? They're calling this corporate welfare, Secretary. Well, Maria, that's just ridiculous. This isn't corporate welfare. This helps all American workers. And, and uh, again, the small business program has been negotiated on a bipartisan basis. There's enormous bipartisan support for this. Uh, I would also say there's lots of bipartisan support for putting money in the exchange stabilization fund, for us to be able to create broad-based programs with the Federal Reserve to support businesses so that they have liquidity. I think you saw this morning right. we made three new announcements that with the Fed will be supporting the asset-backed markets, the primary corporate bond markets, the secondary corporate bond markets. Uh, the Fed has also uh, an announced purchases of treasuries, mortgage-backed securities in vast amounts. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac also made some announcements. So I can assure you uh, we are using all the tools we have, and we've told Congress we need additional tools ASAP. So I hope that the Senate the Federal Reserve, passes the, the, this bill today. The, these Federal Reserve facilities, obviously, uh, they are resonating. Markets have completely reversed course with, with these new actions this morning, and markets are, uh, are happy, obviously, about these moves. But let me ask you uh, about what Ted Cruz tweeted over the weekend in response to what he was working on in the Senate, the fiscal stimulus plan. He says this, in negotiations for economic crisis relief, some are pushing for a special carve-out just for Boeing and GE. That would be wrong. Millions are losing jobs. We don't need bailouts or corporate welfare. This is from a Republican, Ted Cruz. Those companies should participate in the same liquidity programs as everybody else. We know that Boeing was down, lost 44 percent of its value in just a week, Secretary. Are there plans to take an equity stake in Boeing? Maria, I, I want to be clear. There, there are no bailouts. This is not about bailing anybody out. There is a special provision that we are in the process of negotiating for airlines. Airlines do provide significant resources and national security issues. We want the airlines to continue to be able to operate domestic air travel. I believe that's something that's very important to Americans. And when the economy opens up, we need to be able to have these airlines. Uh, so there are very specific provisions to airlines, and, and those are still being negotiated as we speak. And will you take equity stakes, the government's equity stakes in the airlines? What I would say is we will be doing things on market terms. And if we determine that uh, market terms include equity, we have the ability to do that. So the president has made very clear if the taxpayers are putting money at risk, they should be properly compensated. You said this weekend that this legislation is designed to address dislocation in the economy over the coming 10 to 12 weeks. Secretary, does that imply that further legislation is likely coming in the coming months? 
Maria, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we're going to kill this virus in that time period, if not shorter. So uh, I spoke to the president last night. I, I know he is very pleased with the medical professionals and, and the movement, some of these new drugs that have been approved. So this, is, this legislation prepares us for what I would say the 10 to 12 week period, but uh, I, I hope we don't need to last that long. And for whatever reason, this turns out that it's gonna last longer, we'll, we'll go back to Congress. So the president and we are determined to support American business and American workers. This is no fault of their own. This is the government has shut down vast parts of the economy because of a virus that uh, was, was caused to having nothing to do by American workers. I understand, but you, we are doing, we have these shutdowns in various states, New York, California, obviously, and there are calls to shut the entire country down. Steve Bannon, Bill Ackman say, give people an end date, shut everything down across the country, not specific states, so that we understand when the end date is and we understand when we can get back and we can get this virus th passing through with everybody shut down. Are you considering a full shutdown, Secretary? Maria, what I would say is nothing against the financial people and, and, and me. We should leave the medical suggestions to the medical professionals. But we it's have not great a medical, medical suggestion. Professionals. It's also an economic suggestion. It's not just a medical suggestion. This is an economic suggestion as well. Oh. We've got businesses that you've been on the phone with this weekend who say, I'm out of cash. I need cash now. I need to shut down, reassess. I need this now. And you've got politicians dealing with this in the Senate who want to throw things in this bill that have nothing to do with coronavirus. Well, Maria, let me let me be clear for businesses that have to shut down. This bill gives them much, much needed support. So, again, vast amounts of money for small businesses. Uh, we have the IRS fully geared up. As soon as this is approved, we expect to be able to get direct deposits to hardworking taxpayers for bridge payments. It's going to be uh, over $3,000 for a family of four. That's much needed liquidity that hardworking Americans have. Uh, again, we will have programs that support our financial markets so that businesses can continue to borrow and homeowners can continue to get mortgages. And the president will decide. Uh, I, I don't think there's any, I've seen a bunch of fake news over the last couple of days uh, about, you know, a complete shutdown of the economy. The president has not made that decision. If there are medical professionals, the president will listen to it. But uh, again, I think the president is hopeful that the policies and procedures that have been put in place will kill this virus quickly. Uh, on, a, on a global uh, measure, G20 finance ministers holding a teleconference to discuss this today. What do you want to hear from your counterparts across the world, Secretary, in terms of a coordinated action on a fiscal standpoint? Maria, I started early this morning at 7 o'clock on the video call. Uh, I got off that video call just now so that I could be on the phone with you. I think the good news is there's a lot of understanding on the G20 with both central bankers and finance ministers that we are all prepared to take actions to support our economies and coordinate it on a, on a global basis as needed. So whether it's at the G20, the G7, we're working closely with the IMF and the World Bank. Uh, this is a team effort to kill this virus and provide economic relief. What, what metrics do you have that would indicate that this 15-day period is actually working? Because, Secretary, we're hearing that, look, you want to, you know, lock down, settle in place in California, in New York, a couple of other places, and you're looking at markets trade down in the face of this. Now, we just saw a reversal because of the Fed action this morning, but what metrics are you looking at to indicate whether or not this strategy is actually working? Maria, my focus is completely on making sure that American business and American workers have the necessary liquidity to go through the shutdown. So I'm going to leave it to the president and the medical professionals to decide how long this will be. But I would emphasize all small businesses, we will have an immediate mechanism. That's close to 50 percent of the U.S. economy for, for workers. We are encouraging small businesses 
Make sure you hire people back. If you haven't let people go, don't let people go, because we are providing you necessary liquidity, and we're going to get that money out fast. So the president wants to protect small businesses and the workers, and we are working round the clock today to make sure that the Senate passes this today. This is the most important thing we can do. So will you flood the country with cash? Do you believe the country will be flooded with cash to help the cash flow pr problems at so many businesses today? Maria, this, this legislation is now approximately $2 trillion. Uh, part of that is $500 billion, uh, which is not a slush fund. I, I've heard people out there refer to this as a slush fund. It's not a slush fund. It's a mechanism that we can use working with the Federal Reserve that will provide another $4 trillion of potential liquidity into the market. That's on top yep. of the Fed's balance sheet. This is a massive liquidity program that the president is determined that we are going to support hardworking Americans, yes. that we are going to support small business, and we are going to make sure we get through this, and we are going to win this war. So, Maria, it's great to be with you. I'm going to have to sign off, but uh, I want everybody to know we need to get this legislation Secretary passed today. So, final word here, Secretary. Why are the Democrats pushing back? You spoke with Sh Senator Schumer last night. Why aren't they moving and voting on this and getting this into the economy immediately? What's stopping them then? Maria, I can tell you I'm on my way to the Senate this morning to meet with Mitch McConnell and his team and Senator Schumer. You can ask that question to the Democrats. I I what I'm saying is Se we need this to pass today. We certainly do, Secretary. Thanks very much for your leadership, and we appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thank you, Maria. Bye. Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. We have a lot to discuss this morning. News out of the Federal Reserve, sending markets higher. Uh, new lending facilities coming out of the, uh, the Fed. Billionaire investor Bill Ackman on how he would defeat the COVID-19 pandemic. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin saying we need this coronavirus stimulus package passed today.